Day two of the world famous mining show in Toronto. I love coming here because I get to meet old friends. Like my old friend Tom Drevis from Appia. How are you? Good, uh, Peter. Very good. Nice to see you again. I haven't caught up with you about Appia for a while. What, you have two different kinds of properties, right? Right. What are they? Appia has uh, uranium and, and rare earths. Right, and you drilled some really nice holes. We, uh, the last couple of years, we were working on, uh, on the Alsace Lake uh, uh, uranium, uh, sorry, rare earth property in, right. in the northern Saskatchewan. And we drilled some excellent holes. We got some zones right on surface. Our best hole last year was 15 meters, over 16% six, rare earths, over right. 15 meters, and 49% uh, uh, rare earths, uh, over uh, that included basically 49 Those are big numbers. Yeah, over 3.7 meters. So. Uh, Randy Hoback was in yesterday. Randy is the MP for uh, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan, and he knew of your project as well. Well, it's one of the better projects uh, in, in Canada and, right. and, and uh, North America in terms of uh, uh, high-grade critical rare earths. So let's talk about what really matters. How are you going to do take that and make value for the shareholders? Real value. What's your plan? Peter, uh, Alsis Lake is a new project. This is uh, Last year was the second year that we worked on. Right. Uh, we are working with, with our geologists and we're working with different universities to uh, develop the model uh, and uh, we're going to have an active drilling program, exploration drilling program this year. We want to hit it really hard because we think this is the time right. to come up with a, a, the first, res, a first resource and a PEA and, and basically uh, uh, be uh, one of the, the better companies to... So you're saying it's the right time. Is that because of global socioeconomic factors and critical metals lack of supply coming out of China? Uh, it's basically, uh, it's, China supplies 85% of the rare earths uh, to the world. Uh, the, the world is sort of nervous, not only because you know, Ch China has the control of supply, but let's say the coronavirus, for example, right? right. If, 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 if the work stops in China, then what happens to the supply of rare earths? Supply right? chain gets so, so U.S. and Canada and Australia and the other countries, they want to see some supply outside of, of, of China. And there, as, as far as I know, there's only a few projects that can really uh, compete with the Chinese right. because this is the economics. You got to so have the that's grades, what I was gonna get to and next. you got to have the mix. Appia has 70 million shares out. You know, nice company, but a nice small company. You're going to need a partner. You're either going to need more money or a joint venture or a much larger partner to help out. Have you started exploring those options? We're, we're uh, are exploring those options. You know, we we believe, Peter, that if you have the right project. Yep. The right economics, the partners will be there, you know, then, and there, are, there is interest basically from different companies, uh, you know, North well, America. You're here America. at PDAC, you're yeah. talking to people yeah. and you're listening. That's fair. Right, right. Okay, good. Um, it's always nice running into you, Tom. I hope to see you soon. Maybe we can meet out at the golf course. Likewise, Peter. Thank you. Thanks always for, nice to see thanks you. Thanks for your time.